Also developing a rise in school threats. Three local schools have been targeted within the last three days. This all happening in the wake of the deadly school shooting in Georgia last week. NBC 10's Aaron Logan joins us now live in Methuen outside a grammar school. That's where one of those threats was made. Aaron, what are police telling you? Well, Glenn, the Methuen police chief tells me that a bomb threat was made on social media on Saturday against the Timoney Grammar School, and it turned out to be not credible, and no one is in danger, thankfully. But here's what we do know. It was the FBI that alerted Methuen police about this social media threat. Officers then made the school aware. Through a search warrant of the social media account, they learned that account belonged to a kid at Timoney Grammar School. They searched the student's home and realized immediately the threat was not credible. Multiple area departments assisted with the initial investigation. And on Friday night, we brought you the story, Dedham High School's football games were canceled as a precaution after someone called from a blocked phone number that morning. And the caller said there was a rumor someone was going to shoot up the varsity game. NBC10 security expert Todd McGee says the timing of these threats, the start of the school year, serves as a reminder to all schools to take a look at their response protocols. Every threat has to be approached as a real act of shooter situation, which requires a lot of manpower and aid from many neighboring departments. I would anticipate that the different laws, uh, the different uh, laws in the court of law are going to increase based on the increase uh, of, of this type of behavior. Um, it, it's not a good idea. And I would also think that any type of plotting and conspiracy for someone that was indirectly involved will also have serious implications. Now, even though this threat here in Methuen was not credible, there will be extra police presence at all schools on Monday. And the same situation in Raynham. They, too, had a social media threat on Saturday, and that also turned out to be not credible. Live in Methuen tonight, Aaron Logan, NBC10 Boston.